Hey, what's going on, guys? The Beldam is back for a brand new video. And this is going to be my review for the two year and waiting anticipated uh, release of Halloween Kills. Uh, yeah, so. Before doing this review, before talking about this movie, I wanted to really, really get my feelings of it, like, make sure they were accurate. So, I watched it twice in the same day. I watched it in theaters once, obviously, to get that whole experience, because I, I wanted to see it in theaters. And I watched it again at home. With a, I did a double feature with Halloween 2018 and this one. It's kind of combining them, kind of combining them into like one seamless name, much like the original Halloween and Halloween 2. And <clears throat> I want to say that well, I did have one issue with it with a few characters. The movie as a whole was awesome. It really, really was. I know people people have been oh my god. <laughs> the amount of people claiming that it's a bad it's a bad movie. It's they were disappointed in it. It just like Everyone has their opinions. I get that. I totally understand. Everyone has their opinions on things, but when you watch this movie and you know what you're going to get, what were you expecting? It's a Michael Myers movie. Uh, I don't know what people are disappointed by. I really don't. But this is just my this is just my opinion. Like I said, I freaking loved it. Uh the opening of it, the opening of it, starts out really, really strong. It go. I'm trying to. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna go into heavy spoilers, but I'll try to like give you an idea in case you haven't seen. To give you an idea of what this, what the opening of this film was. Um. So the opening. Uh, it doesn't start. The opening doesn't start right off with Lori and. Uh, Lori and Karen and Allison in the back of the truck, like where it ended in the first, like where it ended in the first film. It goes. This one goes a little. This one goes into. Uh, we all know this. We all know there was going to be a flashback sequence. There's actually quite a few of them in this movie. Uh, with Sherrod. Uh, Hawk with Deputy Hawkins, and his like his encounter and his encounter with Michael Myers in 1978. And well, for what I saw, they the way they recreated the uh, original like the original setting of Haddonfield in 1978 on that same night was done flawlessly. It really, really was. It was... It... It, it truly felt like they really... It, it truly felt like they studied every meticulous detail of that setting in the original Halloween and just recreated it. You really felt like you were back in 1970 on that night when they were tracking down Mars. And concerning the story... This, even though this is a sequel to Halloween 2018, and they said, they specifically stated that in that movie that Michael was apprehended that night in this timeline. So, this is just kind of giving you, like, showing you that visual. But, I think some Halloween fans, like, like Halloween purists, I think... 
they might, they might, I'm not sure, they might have a problem with it, or how it's depicted, because it's changing in the ending of the original film. I personally didn't have a, I didn't really have that big of an issue with it. But, I think regardless, people, like, who say they're Halloween purists will definitely have some issues with it. But I, I thought it was done magnificently. It really was. I really loved it. Um, I, yeah, most of the, like, the meat of this movie is, obviously, the kills. And Michael's continued rampage on the town of Haddonfield on the same night. And the kills in this movie were absolutely vicious. Oh my god. <laughs> I've heard my friend, like I watched my friend Brad's or Bronco Juggalos and uh, his friend Bill's review and they have to compare, they compared this film to like the vicious, like, kills in Rob Zombie's Halloween. And they said that... Uh, they said the kills in this movie were... Uh, were... Were better, basically, than the ones in this one. And after seeing the movie, I can kind of agree with that. Like, the kills in Halloween... The kills in Rob Zombie's Halloween were so fucking vicious. But this one... Woof. Woof. They are just... Mer Michael is merciless in this movie. He... Fuck, oh, man. He... Oh. He's like... This is the... This is like the most... This is the most... Uh... <laughs> I don't want to say psychotic, but it's just the most, like... Uh, it's the most rampagey, like, it's the most violent that Michael has probably been since uh, Tyler Maine's portrayal of the character. He's that vicious, and he just goes all out for it. And, I, oh man, I freaking just thought this was great. Oh, what else, uh? Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I thought the story was that I really liked the story in this one. It's much like how much like Halloween 4. This story focuses the, st the plot in this movie focuses on the, the people of Haddonfield rallying up to hunt down Michael and end his torment on the town of Haddonfield. And if it's done better in Halloween 4 than it is here, I have to say, I'm not sure. I really like this scene. Like, there's a whole there's a whole sequence in this town. There's a whole sequence in the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital where, uh, Tommy Doyle, played by Mike, Michael Anthony Michael Hall, and he was great, by the way. He was really, really good. Uh, <laughs> he rallies up all these people, and I guess, rightfully so, if you ask, uh, depends on who you're asking, he rallies up the people of Haddonfield to stop the, that Michael is indeed going to die tonight. And they keep chanting the the learn terms Evil die evil dies tonight. They keep repeating that over and over and over. And there's a whole sequence in this movie where they chase a an inmate that escaped uh well not escaped, but uh that was set loose on the same bus that was carrying Michael to uh Glass Hill, I believe, in the twenty eighteen. And they think that he is, and someone said, like, a few people say, there's Michael, there's Michael, he's right there, he's right there. And suddenly people are, like, getting fired up, and then they're like, don't let him escape, don't let him escape, we have to kill him, we have to kill him. It's not Michael. It's just this random, this is random poor guy who's, like, who's just scared out of his wits, and he has this fucking mob of people chasing him that want to kill him. 
And, yeah, it's just like, it's the whole, I hear what it said, it's just the whole idea of mob mentality. People, if you say something, and enough people will hear it, and then they start getting fired up because the whole crowd's getting fired up, they won't believe you, and then they start, like, following you. And because it's just the whole, it's the whole idea of persuasion. It's like, it's like, if we can't, we can build up a crowd just by saying a few words, and we can get people to listen, we can get them to do, like, act like fucking sheep. And it's just so insane. And it's honestly one of the most entertaining moments, I think, in the movie. Just like the idea of these people rampaging through this hospital to kill this poor guy. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because I don't want to spoil anything else for you about what happens, but... Yeah. Oh... Uh, so yeah, there's... Like I said, Anthony Michael Hall was great in this movie. There's quite a few... Like, we've seen in the trailer, obviously, so this is a spoiler, but... We've seen quite a few people from the original... Literally, the original Halloween come back for this sequel, and, this, and some of them... I'm not going to say who, but some of them uh, who supposedly died in uh, previous installments of the franchise, which are no longer canon, uh, died. But then they're alive in this timeline, only to, I guess, die again. I'm not going to say who it is. But it was so, it was so cool to see them to come back after they've been in... They haven't been involved with this franchise for so long. Uh, I really, really enjoyed what they contributed to the story, which really isn't much. I mean, they were mostly there just to be, like, uh, numbers on a body count. But it was awesome just to see them there. I really liked it. This movie is also exceptionally emotional when it needs to be. Oh my god. I've had friends who said that they were in tears over this movie, and watching the film, I can understand why. I was nearly I nearly broke down myself watching it. Because there's, like, particularly of uh, Karen and Allison are going through the grief of losing Ray as goofy as he was in the first film, but it's the idea of losing a husband and a father, and there's a whole there's a scene where Karen is, like, washing the blood off of her hands and she's, like, looking at her ring and you could just see the grief in her face and, and uh, Judy Greer uh, she really, she really fucking sells it emotionally. God, she's so good in this movie. I thought she was okay in the. I thought she was okay in the 2018. Uh, at least for the like, she did. A, she was getting a lot better in the like the last third. But like the first like couple of like the first two acts, I thought she was just fine. But here she really freaking sells. Oh my god, I I like Ju I like Judy Greer as an actor. I really do. I think she's a good actor. But she really sells in this movie. And there's scenes in this movie, there's kills specifically. When you like when I was watching them, I just, it was hard to watch. Because Michael is killing these innocent people. Because of course that's what Michael does. But I'm gonna go into like this and say that the scene that people I can't believe we live in I cannot believe we live in a time where this is a thing the scene where pe the scene where the firefighters come to like put out the fire on Lori's home that's containing Michael that supposedly burned him uh you guys probably heard about the petition that people were making to have the scene where he kills the firefighters removed. But first of all, that's a stupid fucking idea. Like, who thought of that? This is a fictional movie with fictional characters. I think the fire... Like, I, I'm like... 
I might be wrong, but I've heard the firefighters in the movie were actually real firefighters. And the stuff that firefighters go through, obviously, with their job is a very dangerous stuff. Very, very dangerous job. And watching Michael kill these poor firefighters just for doing their job is it was hard to watch. I don't have any relatives that work in the fire firefighter community. But it was so fucking hard to watch these guys get brutally, I mean brutally, murdered by Michael. Like they were trying to stop they were trying to stop him. Like they were ready to put down their lives for this guy. Put down their lives to fight against this guy. And they were like and he just fucking just like that, just Wax them all off. Well, I, you know what I mean. He fucking... He just kills them. Just like just like they're nothing. And it almost got... It, it almost had me in tears. Because it was so fucking... looked so fucking real. Which is a credit to the movie. It was that... It was that effective. Uh... Yeah, so... There's quite a lot other. There's a lot of other people that I was sad that actually died. That uh, I'm not gonna say who, but there's characters near the end that have their deaths like right in front of them, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is so this is so hard to watch. I love the movie, but it was just so hard to watch. Ah. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how, I, I cannot talk about spoilers in this review, because I want everyone to go see this movie and form their own opinions of it. My only, I will say, the only, my only con with this movie, that the part that I didn't, I was kind of rolling my eyes at, I just wanted to, I was like, just wanted to get through as quick as possible, was... The owners of the Myers house in this, uh, in the 2018, like, in the ones in the movie, they're, uh, they're a gay couple. But that doesn't, mo that doesn't bother me, I don't really care. But I'm just saying, they were a gay couple, and their scenes, I, I felt like they were, I felt like their, their scenes were slowing the movie down. The movie was on a quick, like, it was uh, it was like speeding by. It was like going it was going super quick, and then when you get to these scenes, you're just like, oh my god, because these guys aren't these guys aren't funny. They're not entertaining. I'm just like okay when when I was watching them, I'm just like I'm waiting for Michael to come. I'm just waiting for Michael to come and like kill these guys already because I'm just so bored of them. I'm just like oh my god. I don't know. When I get the Blu-ray, I most likely will just kind of fast forward to the parts where they're in it because it's just like, they're just not entertaining. The movie is entertaining, but they're not, in my opinion. So yeah, love the kills, the story was great, the acting for the most part was really, really solid. Uh, the ending just had me, like, hyped up for, uh, ends coming out next October. <sighs> Fingers crossed, we won't have to wait another year and a half to get Halloween ends. Because that would suck. But hopefully, we'll get ends next October, and just to see the ending of this Michael and Lori confrontation because they said that this is going to be the conclusion of the Michael and Lori storyline and we're finally going to get to see Michael and Lori face off one last time and only one or both could die who knows but yeah, this movie was just freaking awesome. 
and a great, great companion to the 2018 film. I'm going to give it, and this is my rating system, I'm going to give it a four stars, or in my four star rating, I call it a Rhodes. Where we're going, we don't need Rhodes. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching my review of Halloween Kills. Awesome, awesome sequel. It's a great, it's a great time. It was entertaining, and I loved it. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you soon in the new video.